welcome to a new decade of FX. Ben, how was your break? It was good. That's good. Uh, so with that, we're going to do the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the, to the flag of, of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. With that, let's go to news. Hello, everyone. How was your break, Ryan? My break, my break was great. How about yours? My break was great. We have some important news announcements, so let's get right into those. All right. FHC musical editions for Disney's Hunchback of Notre Dame are Wednesday, January 8th at 3 p.m. in the auditorium. Please check out the theater website for more info. Click the musical editions tab and find Sarah Buchanan for more information. Big cast and great show. Buy your yearbook at yearbookforever.com. They're $80 for unlimited time. Interested in buying a yearbook advertisement? Both business and personal ads or senior tributes can be purchased at yearbookforever.com as well. Email any questions to fhcrangeryearbooks at gmail.com. The Central Trend will be having a texting service to reach out to more people. If you would like to join the service, text at TCT to 81010. Hey bro, do you like music? Uh, I don't, but my mom really does. Oh, well, we have a video about that. We asked students of FHC about their favorite music of 2019. Come along with us and let's hear their answers. Who is your favorite artist of 2019? J. Cole. Either Polo G or Trippy Red. Just roll. Wow, Dog Street Band. Lizzo. Braxworth County. Uh, well, that's actually going to have to really depend on the kind of mood that I'm feeling. You know, if you're kind of down in the dumps, a little bit of Frank Ocean. Otherwise, I'm a big Ian Dior guy. Always been a big Denzel Curry fan, uh, among others. Rip Juice World. I don't know. Mr. Fitzgibbon. You can see that I'm the one who understands you. Been here all along, so why can't you see? You belong with me. You belong with me. Your favorite album of uh, my personal favorite was Puya's album. I can't choose. Dying Breed by Polo G and um, Real Feel by Trippy Lo uh, by Trippy Red on his new album. Great song. No, I like all music. What are you excited for most about new music in the new year? I don't like new music. I think old music is way better. Well, I'm hoping Eternal to take drops. Honestly, that's what I'm most looking forward to, if anything. I'm not really looking forward to any new songs right now. I'm just hoping that a lot of people come to Grand Rapids so I can go to their concerts, because I really enjoy going to concerts. What are you most excited for for music in the new year? More juice for the <laughs> You sound congested. Are you sick? Possibly. Do you play any instruments yourself? Harmonica, spoons, guitar, cello. I'm working on the banjo. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. That's the favorite music of FHC. Catch you next time. Welcome to sports. December 28th, the girls defeated Eastern 47-23, and the boys ended up winning January 4th, 66-34. The FHC crew team will be holding a meeting for all returning and new crew team members on January 9th at 6.30 p.m. in the cafeteria. The coaches will be there to welcome returning athletes back and new member athletes that are interested in joining the team. Information about upcoming winter conditioning program will be available. And that's all we've got for sports, so we're going to send it over to hosts with a special guest. Yes, a very special guest, Mr. Passano, and he's here to tell us some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for having me this morning. Uh, good morning and Happy New Year to everybody. I just wanted to uh, begin by uh, thanking everybody for a great first semester. Uh, we had some changes, as you know, for this first semester, you know, exams being before, uh, before the break and the semester ending before the break, and also the new cell phone policy, which I know everybody, it was an adjustment for everybody. But again, we really appreciate your cooperation with that. We've also really, uh, thanks to you guys as, as a student body, have really created a, a strong uh, camaraderie with our, with our kindergarten through 12th grade students going back to the uh, homecoming assembly and we've really received a lot of compliments from our community just about how cohesive and, and, and prideful our community is about, about being a ranger. So a few other things that I wanted to talk to you about is your, your cooperation with some of the new 
school safety protocols that uh, we've, we've in instituted. Uh, first of all, using the buzzer system, if you come in after uh, school day begins, make sure that you have your ID cards with you. If you don't have an ID card, you can pick one of those up in the office for a $5 fee. Um, and also making sure that all outside doors are secure. It's a great help to keeping us all safe in the building. Uh, I also wanted to take a minute to review a couple of our policies so that we can all be on the same page and so that we can have a great second semester. Uh, first of all, I'll talk a little bit about the cell phone policy. Uh, bottom line here is that cell phones should not be seen or heard from the start of the school day until the last bell rings at 245. And again, just so everybody's on the same page going through the uh, uh, consequences, if, you're, uh, if you don't follow this policy, first time this, the phone will be uh, confiscated and students will have to pick up the phone after school. Second time a parent or guardian will have to come in, pick up the phone uh, after school. And the third time we would institute a phone contract and we only had a few students that were on this first semester. Um, but you would, you would uh, sign a phone contract where the student would have to check the phone in in the morning and then check it out of the office after school. It would also include 30 days social probation. So again, we just hope that uh, students comply with this. Um, now, on a positive note, everyone gets a clean slate to begin this second semester. So, but we did have far too many incidents of cell phone use during the first semester, especially toward the end of the semester. Um, but because we know that it's, the best, it's best for your learning, teachers and staff will be consistent with the enforcement of the policy. So just wanted to make sure we're all on the same page with that. So just to be sure, just silence your phone when you arrive in the morning. Make sure it's put away throughout the day, and that includes passing time and during lunch. So we appreciate your cooperation. Uh, the other policy, just to go through, we had some problems with first semester, is the no hats or hoodies rule. Um, again, the policy says in the handbook, this is district policy, unless for purposes of religious observance, headwear of any kind, including sweatshirt hoodies, is not allowed during the school day or at school dances. Um, this is in place for us to be able to easily identify who's in our building at all times. So it really is for security reasons. Uh, whether you like it or not, uh, that's the purpose of it. All right, beginning today, if you're wearing a hat, it will be confiscated and you will receive a detention to be served on Wednesdays after school with Mr. Yonker. Um, you will be able to pick it up in the office at the end of the day. Uh, if you're wearing a hoodie over your head, you will be told to put it down and will also be required to serve a detention. So again, just to, um, we, we had most people cooperate, um, but for those of you who decided to, uh, to not, there are some consequences to that. All right, so we are, again, we're committed to provide a safe learning atmosphere in our building. Uh, so that we can all focus on helping you learn and achieving your potential in the classroom. So again, I appreciate your attention this morning. Look forward to continuing the great things that you accomplish here as, as Rangers. So thank you. Thank you, Mr. Passano. Yes, Ben, uh, did you get a haircut recently? Oh yeah, I woke up at 5.30 today and went over to Dan Johnson. Do you like it? I must say, it's very beautiful. Thank you. Have a nice evening.